Four, a new study reveals over-the-counter treatments will not necessarily kill off super lice. We talked to a lice specialist today about the limited options to deal with that problem. Anyone can get it. Heidi Earhorn is referring to the superbug lice. She says this is her family's first time experiencing lice, and now she urges people to seek professionals if they suspect lice. We had already been seen by the pediatrician for some itchy scalps, and they didn't find anything there. So it's really critical that you go to a specialist because even a pediatrician who we adore was not able to find it. This year, researchers found super lice is resistant to over the counter treatments, according to the Journal of Medical Entomology. Jenny Lassiter is the founder of Lice Ladies in Northeast Atlanta and says back to school is when her business is the busiest. There's lots of head to head contact and togetherness, and that's how they actually get it is touching heads. For preventative methods, Lassiter says oils are not 100%, but they will help to keep lice away. Head lice has definitely become increasingly resistant to pests. Pesticides, and we've actually had what we refer to here as super lice for about seven or eight years in the state. Pharmacists say lice is resistant to the pesticides that are in the over the counter treatment. That's why Lassiter recommends enzymes based products. As for Heidi, she thinks it's best to let the professionals remove lice. So we started the process and came in this morning to get treated. So now we're all lice free. Good thing. Lassiter says you should comb through your hair with a lice comb once a week for maintenance.